Hello everyone, welcome to Computer Tag. So this tutorial is all about uh, protection of your workbook, your worksheets. So this is a very simple program I made for you just to tell you how to make a user username and password based window which will allow you to see your sheets, edit your sheets uh, with uh, you know with username and password. So you as by default, you know we have a review function, review tab, and review tab we have we can protect sheet in which we can uh, disable any editing, uh, maybe some uh, copy or uh, some other features in this we have in the here. But also, but uh, there is one problem we can see we can check every uh, sheets here. So with this function, uh, basically with this feature uh, by default feature of Excel, you can. Uh, view every sheets and maybe take some screenshots everything you can do okay so uh, I will, basically my purpose was to make a program in which uh, which it ask the username and password then it allow you in uh, in excel okay just like here uh, there's you see there's a login window which is asking me uh, username and password and you can everywhere so it's not uh, you know it's not uh, ex giving me access to change my sheet option or to kill so and uh, you see if I click here so you see this is also not closing so for example if someone closed this this will automatically close but in this function is also disabled and uh, you see when I close workbook so this work will be closed and uh, okay let's just save save this one and I again open this okay so from here this is my other file so I'm again opening it one this one and okay so so when this workbook is started open so you see there's login window anything okay so what is the password so uh, password is computer tag and uh, password is computer so you can see this password is also next, uh, you know, just in the uh, static form. So basically, you cannot see what you are typing there. So login, so it's okay. Now you can, you know, check anything here, everything from here. Okay, so you can used uh, this protection. This we also disable. Okay, so now you can use. Again, so if I check, I show you, this is just, uh, I made uh, just for testing. So again, there's one. So you have computer tag and password is computer. Okay, so from here, this is now you can do anything. And from database, so basically this is your uh, database here, your, your uh, username and password are saved. So if you want to change your username password, so it's one two three and one two three, and you know I'll change password. That is not also visible here. Okay, so you can see again if I and one two three. Okay, so this is save. okay. Now we we'll save this one. And if I close this again, open. So now one two three, one two three. Okay, so login successful. Okay, so uh, let's check how it's working. Basically, so you have to go uh, developer option, and first of all, just uh, just you know don't need because uh, just I just put here just because of test uh, anytime you want. Otherwise, uh, this this button no need. Okay, so let's check the VB program. Basically, I have two sheet. One is this is the main sheet where your program will be there, and one database where your password and uh, username will be saved. But this also again, this no need. You can use your this sheet also for your, this one username and password. This uh, up to you. Okay, so just will open this one. So we have sheet one. Okay, so I already told you this you don't need because uh, I just use for this one. So in order to open. So you can delete, okay, no problem. You can also delete this one, okay. So this we have, and uh, from here, what we will do? From sheet one, okay, sheet one. This uh, we don't need. 
and maybe later I need this one to show you uh, something uh, another extra feature I will tell you that's why I'm not deleting this one now okay so you can just copy this both rows okay and delete this one because this now we don't need also this button we don't need okay so now here we have sheet one which is main sheet in database so in database what we have this change password button so when i click this password basically this form open and uh, we have this one okay so i just committing this one and i will tell you uh, why i use this one so in at the end i will tell you okay so first go to user form so from here insert user form you can insert user form here so the first user form is login window and the second form is to change the password okay so first of all you check the login window so here just very simple program no any uh, any difficult thing just i used if and else condition so what is if if username so this is the username this one is the username is if this username equals to uh, equals to worksheet database dot text box one value okay so if this username is equal to this one okay if condition true then again check if password this one this password equals to worksheets database text box 2 in this one text box 2 okay so if both are okay then unload me means uh, then close uh, this window user form else uh, wrong username or password okay so and uh, again if any of condition is wrong so it shows wrong username and password okay and the other button uh, which is uh, for as i already told you if i save this one okay and if i close again open so here is user form so if i put fast with here uh, one two three and uh, four five six so it shows wrong username and password okay so anything you write here it shows wrong username okay so again if you write one two three then it's okay so you yes, have login successful okay so this thing i clear from here so from this one uh, this close active workbook dot close so if uh, you don't have any credentials uh, username or password for this one then you also cannot close this window okay so for this uh, i have put an extra button so that uh, you can close uh, this window okay so i have picture this one so this one is close window close workbook so if you press here the work will be closed otherwise you cannot close workbook Right, so and this one is a user form query close uh, just, just like here you see this workbook so when i press this one so this window will close so i have to disable this option okay so from what i do i use uh, this one user form query close so if close mode equals to be form control menu then cancel equals to true so in this way uh, we, we will disable this uh, close form so when you press this close so it will not work it will work only when you put proper password and use correct username and password and press login then it will unload this one user form okay so this user form will be uh, closed and uh, uh, what is this other thing other very simple thing here is this workbook so when this workbook open so it immediately show this form login window okay so as you are you already uh, seen in uh, when i opened the uh, workbook so it uh, first of all this window appears so when you enter correct username password so then it allow you to uh, edit or make any changes in your excel sheet okay so in second sheet we have uh, if you want to change your password username and password and if you don't want to uh, go to vpa code every time so from here you can do what is very simple code so what you do is active sheet text box one means this one uh this one active sheet text box one value means this one okay and uh, user form dot two user form dot value username dot value so this is username and this is password so this is user form two okay so this is user form two so from here if you check so we have user form two dot uh, value if this value uh, should be text active sheet text box and value this one and this password should be this one 
Okay, in this way you can save your username, new username and new password. Okay, so last thing you see now here from when I save, okay, let's save it and when open again. So we have window. So if I close this one, so you see you again close we have go. So now let's check. Uh, there is one problem here. So if your sheet is open and someone is uh, deleting this one, this one, then maybe there is some malfunctioning. So what you will do? Uh, simple. You just hide both these so that it shouldn't uh, be visible to everyone and no one can then read this one. So what we'll do? This one. False. And uh, also. Uh, text box one and this one also make it false okay so false and take this out and put inside this one because okay, so whenever workbook open so it should close everything okay just try closing this one and now when you open again so let's put one two three tap one two three okay so everything finished so you can delete this one and now no one knows where is username saved, user password is saved, so it is uh, hidden. Okay, and also other thing uh, here, so you save this one and save again. You change, open. So you see there's no and one two three. Okay, login, and if I change password, it's like seven eight nine, and uh, it's uh, computer is password. Okay, so change for change close save okay now again you open this one so 789 and uh, this computer is password everything okay okay so it's very clear and uh, uh, for me it's very good you know you can just block your sheets uh, you, no one can go through your sheets so this is a very good thing you can implement in your uh, you, you are excel confidential excel sheets so i hope you got it and uh, if you have any problem any question you can ask uh, so i will i am also uh, attaching this template with uh, uh, with this video so you can uh, check out the description and you can download this template for your application till then see you take care